What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff, I'm the owner of RDR Gear in Salt Lake City, Utah. And if you've watched the video from us prior, you hear me talk about soft goods, certified mods, holster wraps. Well, we're gonna go a little different route today due to some logistics of the range, but we're gonna talk about the PDP, Walther PDP, holster mods, specifically for the 4.5 inch Walther PDP and the four inch PDP and what holsters they fit and why one doesn't fit the other. So uh, first and foremost, guns are clear and safe. So what we have is the PDP four inch and the PDP four and a half inch. Both have the full size grip modules, uh, similar red dots, that's kind of nor here nor there. But what you notice is barrel length. I'm gonna kind of line these up a little bit. Um, with some guns, other models, the frames are sometimes shorter and then the slides are longer or there's one slide for all the frames and vice versa. Uh, the PDP is a weird one. The one we don't have shown here is the five inch. And there's a reason for that, right? The five inch PDP is the longest of all the PDPs and therefore there's not a holster crossover currently from Safari Land that fits that mod. Uh, I do believe that like US Duty Gear has an option. I have not seen their product yet. I hear good things, but um, there it's it's a kind of a hybrid of their designs with some Safari Land influenced features. So if you guys are 100% got a PDP and a five inch, there is hope out there in some of their styles. Um, but again, a lot of you guys like the ALS or the true ALS design. So. Uh, I have all three guns, the five inches not here for their video, but I really can't see a performance difference from the four, the four and a half to the five. Uh, so we're gonna focus on these two, but these two are the most popular that we uh, deal with. So uh, let's talk about why holster fitment is an issue for one of these and not the other. So this holster is a 6390 RDS for the 4.5 PDP. This is a modified P320 holster. Uh, don't let anybody tell you that a P320 factory holster works for these guns. It does not. Uh, you have to realize too, I'm going to use overhead here so I can show you guys this. Um, when you look at the width of the slide, okay, um, you have to understand the slide has these kind of weird, like, like almost like a chevron shape. Um, understand that there's a high point on each side of that chevron shape. That's the width of the true width of the pistol. So when people say that, oh, it fits a 320 holster, it does not, I promise you, I tried. Um, and I wouldn't sell you a modified holster if I knew I could just grab a 320 and it would drop right in it and be off to the races. So that's not the case. But with the 4.5 inch frame, compared to the four inch gun, there is a length specification or a length limit with the 4.5. So when we do the 4.5, and I just happen to have the muzzle device removed on this holster. Uh, normally the muzzle device that's in here can stay. So when you get the holster, it looks factory brand new, like it was made for it. The draw is super clean, super easy, no problem. But what happens is now take the four and a half inch gun and this is a 6360 RDS level three. That's the holster. ALS module and the SLS bail. So we have the active self-locking, the self-locking, and the RDS hood cover. And these, FYI guys, these are removable if you don't want to keep them. But, so when you look at this holster, they're the exact same, right? But what happens is with the bail, this is the issue with the 4.5. So we have the 4.5 pistol. And again, we have a full muzzle plug in here, right? Everything's good to go. But now what happens? We get stuck on the bail clearing the length of the pistol. And it's just a smidge too long. And there's not much you can do about it. I have tried to trim out the material underneath here to get it to clear. Uh, you take too much away and when you go to push down on the bail, the bail can crumple. Um, so that is why, you know, because when you try to push it, it's really stiff and each one of these is different. It will clear, but I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but I'm trying to think of an angle where I can show you guys if you can see that. But it's actually rubbing and getting stuck on this far corner. I've tried to, again, I mentioned earlier, tried to notch them, bevel, bevel them, puff them down, whatever, it just doesn't work. So 
Um, to give you guys the best performance, the 6390 RDS is the best option for you. If your department requires the level three holster, I recommend the four inch gun. This is my original personal, both of these are my guns. Um, this is my PDP, the very first one I ever bought. This is one of, when I say, the other day I made a post on Instagram that the PDP was the best striker fired pistol um, on the market today. I stand behind that. Um, between grip angle, grip texture, how low the sight sits on the gun, the trigger and how that trigger breaks um, out the box, I don't think you can find a better striker fired pistol. Um, I just really enjoy this gun. I feel that this gun here, I've got like probably 3,000 on it as far as rounds go, but the trigger, you can see where that trigger breaks and my reset, it's super quick, super, it just, I feel the trigger is getting better over time. I know it's probably hyperbole simply because Palmer guns don't get better, I guess, but um, I definitely do think that the PDP is a phenomenal pistol. The reason I'm making this video is there are so many guys out there in the law enforcement side. I reached out to Walther. I'm tr I was trying to get PDP pros to borrow for this video, but unfortunately, that's not the case. We're gonna get to the PDP pro issue in a minute here. So let's get to this gun. Four inch gun in the holster. Now you notice the muzzle plug is still in here, right? When you guys order one of these from me, I actually give you a modified muzzle plug. Um, since you watch the gun sit, so now it sits too deep, right? So it sits like so, and then you see how this portion, watch my hand hit. Right here, you'll see me come into the gun. You see how right here, my middle finger is hitting the holster. If you notice on this one, it doesn't. I actually bevel this corner out for you guys, so that way, and I don't have huge hands, but I figure I go my hand width and maybe a glove thickness, right? So that way, you can clear and you don't hit the holster. So same thing over here. If you run the PD four inch in here, you'll see that pulled up. Even if it's sitting low, you still don't smash into the holster. So you guys will be able to see that in the overhead here. So you'll see how one side is scooped and once this one is scooped and this one is not. That's just a little thing I do and I'm going to modify these holsters and sending them back out to you guys. So with the four inch gun, you'll get a modified plug. So that way you'll see the gap that's in between the pistol and the bail. I give you a modified plug just so that way you don't have all this back and forth, right? I try to eliminate some of that um, and get you guys squared away that way. So with the four inch gun in the level three holster, you have no issue clearing the bail. So if your department requires you to have a level three holster or SLS and an ALS holster, then your four inch gun is the pistol to go with. Um, I don't believe in my opinion um, that you're going to get any performance issue or, uh, you know, I guess honestly this performance issue between a four inch gun and a four and a half inch gun. Some will say, oh, you're getting better ballistics, better terminal velocity, whatever, yada, yada, yada. I don't believe so. That's my two cents. But between the two pistols, that's something you just have to decide. So now let's talk about the PDP Pro. You have to use a little imagination with me here. So imagine both these pistols have threaded barrels. And the PDP Pro has the updated trigger, the magwell, and the threaded barrel. Right, so if, and this is where this video kind of ties in to you guys at home. And this will be a link I can send you guys to watch to help you with your PDP Pro purchase. Uh, the Pro in the four inch slide, so the slide length is four inches from tip to front. With the thread barrel, the PD Pro, PDP Pro is a 4.5 inch gun because to the end of rear of front slide to front of muzzle is 4.5. Now you need the 4.5 holster. Well, now we only make that in one. That's the 90, it doesn't come in a 60, right? So by putting the four point or four inch pistol with the threaded barrel, all you have to do is pull the muzzle plug. So now you can still run this holster, pull the muzzle plug, the threaded barrel has a home. Same thing with the four and a half inch. Same thing, all you gotta do is pull the muzzle plug. So if you guys order a PDP Pro for the four inch, you're gonna order a standard 
holster. I'm just going to pull the muzzle plug. You order a four-inch gun. When you look at their website, order them as if you didn't have a threaded barrel on your pistol, right? That's where the confusion is happening um, because you guys are realizing it's longer and pulling the muzzle plug doesn't hurt you whatsoever. If you're going to run a PDP Pro, my recommendation is an X300. The reason being, we're gonna pull the muzzle plug, right? So therefore, when the pistol goes in the holster, the muzzle plug is no longer supporting their weight, letting the ALS spring go back into rest. So right now, it's loose, right? There's not a lot of, not a lot of play, there's very little play, and the spring is not under tension. What happens is when you release that gun super fast, that spring opens and it can split and crack. And over time, that's gonna degrade the spring faster than need be. So if you're going to pull the muzzle plug, run the X300, and then you put in your notes, PDP Pro, because what I put in here is a, and you guys can do this at home too, right? Is I just, you can use any kind of foam. All you're gonna do is put a piece of foam in here. It can be a half inch tall, start a half inch. You don't have to put any glue in here. If you put a square, it's kind of gonna stay in here. And what happens is once you put that piece of foam in there, you can pull the muzzle plug, put the light cap back in, and now when you put the pistol back in the holster, we're now putting support on the foam cap to help the spring go back into a rest mode. And now you're controlling ride height of the pistol and the pistol's loaded weight on the light side, no longer the muzzle side, all right? And same thing with the four inch. If you have a threaded barrel, you're gonna pull. The threaded barrel on the 4.5 inch holster, I've sent a few out and I haven't heard back yet that there's no issue, right? Because you have the length to work with because you'll see how on this one, that up and down bounce. With that threaded barrel, you're going to have that removed and you're still gonna be able to clear the bail because the gun's gonna sit deeper. So I don't know so much if you have to deal with that, but no matter what in the PDP Pro, I always recommend pulling the muzzle plug out of the holster just to have a home for that third barrel to sit and clear on the holster. And again, that's just pulling the muzzle plug out of the holster and that's where your third barrel is gonna be. So guys, that's what I got for you on the PDP Pros uh, in the four inch and the four and a half inch. And just to recap, if you order these on the website, rdrgear.com and the Safariland tab, you're just gonna specify in your order PDP Pro. If you're ordering the four and a half inch Pro, order the four and a half inch holster. If you have the four inch Pro, order the four inch PDP holster, and we're just gonna move the muzzle plug out of the holster, and that's gonna make your life a lot easier. So until Safariland comes to the table with options, and again, you know, it's not to, uh, I think, I do enough business where I'm not, I don't have to worry about sharing other options, but if you did have a five inch gun, you know, US duty gear is an option for you. Check those guys out, um, but that's it. So if you are running a PDP Pro and more and more of you guys are, um, I was talking to my buddy, Nick Young at Velox Training. Uh, today's Friday. So this week alone, I just went back and looked. Um, I answered 28 emails and had four phone calls total this week, today, uh, Monday to day. Um, on PDP Pro options. The Pro is growing. Um, Walther killed it with his pistol. I think it's a great, great option for you guys. Um, and I mentioned before, probably the best striker fired pistol on the market today. That's it, guys. As always, post two or three videos every week, 4 p.m., Tuesday and Thursday. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Be well. Take care.